Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming race this weekend in Indonesia. Now, before we get into it, here is the schedule for Friday. Here is the schedule for Saturday. And here is the schedule for Sunday. Now, as we know, the circuit in Mandalika is not the easiest circuit under the normal circumstances. Everyone remembers how <laughs> Mark Marquez flew there. And I suppose this year is no exception either. The circuit has been fully resurfaced, but we don't know what sort of surface we are going to find when we get there. Also, Michelin don't know. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how the teams cope with it. They seem to cope with it quite well uh, in the past. You know, in India, for example, again, they didn't know what sort of surface they were going to get when they arrived. The surface was generally good there. The last time we did go to Mandalika, the surface wasn't the best. You know, there was a lot of dust and dirt. If you remember the dirt and the filth on the bikes when they were there testing and also at the race. But, you know, this weekend, it's all about championship points. Peko versus Martin. Marco Besecchi is traveling to the circuit, is my understanding. He will have to pass a medical examination also. So it will be good to have the three title contenders there. Now, I did originally say... Maybe it was the best that Pisecki did sit it out. But then, look, you know, if he loses touch right now, even though that he might be better, you know, might as well risk it for a biscuit. There is something to fight for in the championship. You know, if he does do okay in this one, definitely Australia will be a little bit easier. Of course, there is also the other risk that he may damage himself further. But as I said, the championship is there to fight for. Marini will also be back. And it would also be interested to see how Alex Rins gets on. I believe he's going to have another crack at it. Um, you know, and we know from the last round, you know, he did try the first day in Japan, but, you know, it wasn't really going to work out for him. So he stopped. Um, other than that, I think it'd be interesting to see how Fabio gets on here. May or may not suit the Yamaha, not 100% sure. Obviously, Marc Marquez on the Honda, you know, can he put the demons to sleep here um, and not himself? You know, the last time he was here, it was just literally ludicrous that uh, what what happened to him, what what he did. But again, let's see if he can keep it all under under control. But I think this weekend really is going to be about the championship fight. What happens between the top three? And to be fair and honest, the, it is in favor of of uh, Jorge Martin this weekend um, you know the track here demands an awful lot of respect new surface it will take Peko time I think to get up to speed but I think Martin will come out in a shotgun setting and just go for it from the, you know, the first practice session on Friday Um, you know the circuit itself as well what will the Aprilias do I'm not sure you know and um, this is one of those circuits that um, if Aprilia's can get out front and ride their own lines, I think they'll be fine. If they're in a group, I think they'll be a little bit troubled because of acceleration purposes, etc. Um, now, I didn't mention him all video, but I think, you know, Martin's going to be good. But I think Brent Binder, in my opinion, or maybe Jack on Friday, I think they're going to be very fast on the KTMs. Um, so I definitely think it's going to be interesting, but I'm going to put nail my colors to the mask. I think my fastest man on Friday is going to be Brad Binder, but I would definitely love to know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to be the fastest man on Friday? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.